Hey guys, welcome back to another redstone tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a combination lock. Now you can hook this combination lock up to any output you want. I'm just going to be showing you a basic iron door for the tutorial's purposes. But yeah, you can hook it up and I'll show you how to do that later in the tutorial. I'll fly around the back here. And if you're already a redstone pro, if you've watched my previous episodes, you could pause the video here, copy the circuit into your world and experiment it with yourself and learn how to make it. But I'm actually going to be rebuilding it from scratch in a second. So there you go. Pause the video if you're a pro and you just want to copy my design. Or keep watching if you want to learn how to adjust it and modify it and do it properly. So I guess the best way to explain this is it uses an AND gate, which I showed off in my last um, little tutorial, my redstone series. So it's just basically an AND gate. And if you press the button next to the door, and if you have the right combination, this input and this input equals the output to turn this torch off, and the door will open. As simple as that. There's another torch underneath that block there. See? That's how that door, that's how it works. I'll show you how to build it anyway. So let's just go straight into it here. I'm just going to make a normal wall. This can be made out of whatever you want. You can put it, merge it into your old circuits, or your old house, or whatever you got going on. I don't know, everyone's situation will be a bit different. So I'm just going to make a really plain as looking wall here. Look at that guys. Plain wall, you can find a wall anywhere in Minecraft. If, you've already, if you're already lost, maybe you should go watch my previous redstone tutorials. If Kimberlake's watching this, yep, yeah, she's, she's a bit lost, she's a lost kid. Shout out. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, let's continue on here. I'm just chucking an iron door there, and um, actually, I just put that there, I shouldn't have, because we've got to dig out below it to actually hide the redstone. A lot of people have been asking me how to hide the redstone, so that's what I'm going to show you. See how I can do that? And that'll actually hide the redstone. So I'm actually going to be showing you that this episode as well. So we'll put that door in a bit later. But what we want to do is chuck a button. You just need to separate at least one if you want to hide the redstone. Or I could put the button here if I didn't want to hide the redstone. Like if I walk through here, I'd see redstone here. But I can of course hide it if I move the button over one. And that's what I'm doing. And now this will be a wall here in the finished product. Just like that. Um, yep. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to chuck a bunch of inputs down. I'm just going to use levers because they're really good for combinations locks. And you just need to skip a block in between so you have some, some room to do the redstone behind it without it getting mixed up. There is a way to make the combination lock right next to each other. But it is a lot more advanced circuit. And I'm just sticking to the basics for you guys this time. And... So yeah, there we go. We'll do four. This can be as expandable as you want. Let's do more than four. Let's do five. Let's step it up a notch here, and we're going to do a five combination lock. But we could extend this as far as we want. Like, we could go all the way to the other side of the map, and it would still work. The combination would still work. And of course, the more inputs you have, the harder it is to guess. I reckon five's a pretty good number. And what I'm going to go do is look behind that lever, and just go ahead and put a block there. And then I know this one's two across, so bam, bam, bam. And that should be behind each one of the levers. Yep, we're just double checking that. We're all good to go. And there's my button. We'll put a block behind that as well. Is it seriously raining? Wow. Here's another command if you guys didn't know it. Weather clear stops the rain when you're not using any mods on your server. It's a nice little tip. Took me a while to work out that one actually. Now we're just going to chuck redstone on each of these blocks like that. Very simple, but the only difference we're going to do is we're going to work out what combination we want to set. So I'm thinking we'll go up, up, down, down, and then the last one can be up. And to work out this combination, once you've flicked it, once you've chosen your desired combination, the correct one, you want to fly around the back here, and you want to be like, okay, so this one and this one is lit up. We are now going to put redstone torches on those two blocks. To reverse the signal. See how this is on? This reverses the signal. That's exactly what we wanted to do. Now we just have to bring this across. Get all the different inputs that we want. And we need to chuck a block in here somewhere. Just to bring our next stage of the circuit off. So we can just chuck it here. We could have chucked it here. You can chuck it anywhere. It does not matter. You just need to bring the redstone over it. Then chuck a torch on it. And if you come over here. You'll notice that I've got the same thing set up. Just with less inputs. And see how I decided these two are going to be down, this was up, this one was down for the correct combination. And that's why these ones are lit up, and that's why I put the redstone torches on it. 
All right, next stage. We are on the AND gate now, actually. So for the AND gate, you need two inputs. So this will be my first input, I guess. That should be fine. And this is, of course, the next input. And to hook this up to the AND gate, we just need to put three blocks down. Oh, sorry, I haven't eaten. I'm, like, hungry. My tummy's rumbling, guys. I'm, I'm hungry. I'm starving. Oh, I need some mango juice in here on the ASAP. <laughs> anyway, let's jam that in there. That is the basic AND gate setup. You can watch my previous redstone tutorial episode if you want to learn more about it. But I'm just going to build it here and you can just copy me. You don't really have to understand it for this circuit. And bam, here's our output. Just like that. This is the output that is going to be going to the door. And we're just going to move it around here. Um, we can actually chuck a repeater in here if it needs some more distance. I'm actually going to do that because... Um, if it's over 16 blocks long, the signal will actually die out and it won't open the door. But anyway, let's go ahead and do this now. What we want, if we want to hide the redstone, we need to make this hole too deep. And then what you want to do is chuck a block here, because we have to reverse the signal. So we're just going to put a redstone torch here, and this is just reversing the signal one last time. And we're going to put a block on top of that, and that's the door. So when this torch lights up, It'll power this block and open the door. We're just doing this to reverse the signal, guys. You've got to remember that. All these blocks I'm doing is literally just to reverse the signal. Um, so we got that. We can actually try hooking this up, and I'll show you what happens if you don't reverse the signal properly. So let's go... Let's go like this, shall we? Yeah. That, that'll be fine. Let's go with this one. So we'll bring the redstone down here to this block. Make sure that's all done. There we go. And so now, as you can see, this is the correct combination. We have the correct combination set. And that's why all this redstone is non-powered. And that's why this torch is powered. That's why this part of the AND gate is turned off. Now when we press the button, bam, you'll see that... that's Oh, I haven't linked it up to the AND gate yet. Bam, there we go. So now when I press the button, see that? There we go, the door opened, and you can see this torch here is lit up, but when I press it, it turns the torch off and shuts the gate, see? You see that? Hopefully you guys understand that. I'm trying to think of a way in my head to explain it. But basically, for the AND gate, you need this torch and this torch to be off. If this is the right combination, this one will be off, and when this button is pressed, that one will also be off, and that'll turn this bit to turn on, which will open the door. And see how the door's stuck open now? That's why we needed to reverse the signal. And that's why I'm going to get rid of this repeater here now. Because I do have enough distance. Get rid of that. Put the torch like that. Now the door is shut. But when I press the button, it turns that on and opens the door. See that? Now the combination, it's working. And now, to show how this works if people get the wrong combination. Look what happens when I flick the wrong combination here. Bam! This, this redstone turns on. It turns this torch off, which screws up the AND gate. Because now when I flick this button, it's not an AND gate. It doesn't activate the AND gate anymore because it requires this one and this torch to be off. But now when I flick the button, only that torch is going off. So you're like, oh, the door doesn't open. You got the wrong combination. Unlucky. We flick this back up though, it'll turn that off. And see, if we get any one of these wrong, it'll turn that redstone on. That's how it works, guys. See that? Any one of these on the wrong combination will turn this redstone on and ruin the circuit. We press that. Bam, opens up. Good as new, guys. Now, I'll quickly show you how to hide this. Once you've done that part of the redstone, you want to bring it all the way to the last block here, and that'll be your wall. That'll be the end of your room. You'll just build it like this. You have to build around this bit a bit, and there's your room. So this could expand out of infinite. This could be like a little alleyway. I don't know. You could do this as much as you want, but there's the basic way of hiding it. See, you walk through the door, you walk down here, this could be a 100 foot room, it doesn't matter. The only thing you have to hide is this bit. And if we wanted to hide this more, of course we could just dig it out further this way. And then we could dig it out to the side like a 100 blocks out so you might not even notice it. Depending on how big you want your room to be. Because it all just depends how well you want to hide it, guys. Hopefully you understand that. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I'll be showing you an advanced combination lock in my next redstone tutorial video. This was the basic one, but there was a much more advanced one, which I'm going to use buttons for, and I'm going to put all the buttons right next to each other. 
So if you guys are looking forward to that, make sure to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video if this has helped you out. Link it to your friends. It's all helping me out, guys, and I appreciate it. Other than that, hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you later.